In this tutorial we're going to look at adding a FPS controller to our Unity project. This will allow us to move around our environment and create a personalised effect within our project. Now the first thing we need to do is create a new project. So we need to select the version that you would like to create it in. In this case I'm going to create it in the 2020 version. And then we can need to give it a name. Now I'm going to create a folder on desktop called Unity and we're going to call this FPS controller. And we're going to click on create. Now once your project is ready, we can then head to the asset store. Now the best way I find using the asset store is to actually use a browser and head to the asset store. Now once you're at the asset store, we're going to be make sure you've logged in. If you haven't done so, please do so. And we're going to be looking for the standard assets 2018. When you scroll down, you'll actually see this asset pack here. Now I've already opened this packet and associated it with my account. So just click on this asset pack. And then what I would like you to do is open this in Unity. So you may have to go through the purchase cycle and add it to your account. It is one of my favorite ones, so you could always hit the love heart on that and go open in Unity. What this then will do is bring us back to the Unity environment and it'll ask you to download the Unity asset. So you can see that I've got the standard assets here. So you need to click on download. This will download it from the internet and then you can click on import. Now in the import, you can actually see all the different files that are here. There are some different assets like car, jet plane, when you go through, there's lots of different models. Two D assets. Everything you need to create a first person controller. This is one of my favorite asset packs from Unity. So I'm just going to click on import all. This will take a little bit as it is a large package to bring in. As you get better with it, you might just want to refine it down and just bring in the first person controller, or if you're using the jet plane, just bring in those assets that you require for your project. Now, once you've installed the assets, and we're going to be mainly dealing with the character assets, the first person one in prefabs, and then we can add the first person controller to our hierarchy. When I click back on scene, you can see that we've now got the first person controller here. If we zoom in, you notice that the first person controller has a camera, therefore we don't need this main camera here, so we can right mouse click and go delete. All right, now we need a platform or something for the first person controller to be on, so I'm just gonna right mouse click, add a 3D object in a cube, and I'm just gonna give it some dimensions of 20, one, and 20. Then when I click on the first person controller, I can then move the controller around, by bringing it up. You can see it has a pill shape for its collision area. And then when I hit play, you'll notice that there'll be an error. So we have a compiler error. In the 2018, there's three files we need to fix. These files, you'll be able to find a link to in the description below, but we need to substitute these files in our project. So let's do that now. So I've downloaded these files onto my desktop. I'm just gonna open up the folder and open up another finder window so I can see them. So you can now see the three files that we need to substitute. So once again, head into my Unity folder on my desktop, go into my project folder, go into assets, into standard assets, and down into utilities. Then I wanna drop these three files into here. Replace all the files. So replace, 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 and that will substitute the three files. Now, when I run my program, it does a quick little import. And now I have my FPS controller. It uses the same commands as if you were playing a computer game. 
You push escape to get mouse control again, and then you can stop it by turning off the playhead. If you want to add an object to the stage, just put something in there, maybe a capsule. Remember to raise it up so you've got something to look at. You can move it wherever you like. Now when it runs, we have an object on the platform with us that we can now move around. So now you have an FPS controller in Unity. That it's a basic controller that allows you to run, jump. You can also substitute it to different objects like cars, etc. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. If you did, give it a like. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. And have fun making awesome Unity projects. Just remember to look in the comments below so you're able to download those three asset files to substitute into your project to make sure the assets and the FPS controller works appropriately.